In this video, we'll review a feature of the new Velocitech Pro Start, the distance to line on or off option. This feature was created for classes which do not permit distance to line or pinging of the start line. A quick disclaimer here, we are not class rules advisors. If the class in which you race does not permit distance to line or pinging, we recommend you check with the technical committee or event organizers before using the Pro Start, even with distance to line disabled. This feature was first released with firmware version 27 in August of 2001, and it's been included in every firmware release since. If you have a Pro Start with firmware 27 or up, you have the option to disable pinging and distance to line. Here's how to configure your Pro Start to turn off distance to line. First, we'll turn on the device and enter the user configuration menus. We'll uh, press gun to scroll through the configuration menus until we get to the distance to line on off menu. Here you see DIST to line scrolling on the top line of data and then the on off status at the bottom. The factory default setting is on and you can toggle the distance to line on and off using the line set buttons. We'll turn the distance to line off and then press the gun button to confirm the selection and move to the next configuration menu. And then we'll press gun once more to return to normal operation. Now that we've disabled the distance to line, disabled pinging, let's see how the Pro Start works uh, in start mode. We're outside, the Pro Start's got a GPS signal, and we'll switch to start mode from race mode. Here you'll see a countdown timer on top and speed over ground at the bottom. Uh, the bottom line of data in the factory default settings is your distance to line in meters. With distance to line and pinging turned off, the bottom line is speed over ground. You can see that the line set buttons don't register. Um, the, the semicircles that usually light up no longer light up. The start line does not appear after you set the ends of the line. So the, the, the features are completely disabled. There is no start line information saved by the device. Um, your, two, your two data fields in start mode are countdown timer and speed over ground. And then if we get a timer going here, you'll see what happens when the timer expires. We'll sink down to inside one minute. When the timer expires, the Pro Start automatically changes from start mode to race mode. But in the current configuration, only the top line of data changes. It changes from the countdown timer, which expired and flashed three zeros, and it changed to the direction output selected, uh, in this case, heading. The bottom line remained speed over ground. That's how the Pro Start works with the distance to line and pinging disabled. Thanks very much for watching.